How's it going everybody and welcome back to another installment of Demo Showcase. And this time we are taking a look at the demo for Box Boy and Box Girl on the Nintendo Switch. And I can't believe I'm actually saying that a Box Boy game is on the Nintendo Switch. And I'm still never gonna believe it until I eventually let's play this game. But I am super, super excited for Box Boy and Box Girl, which by the time this video comes out, actually is going to be released. So you can probably already guess what I'm gonna give this on the biometer. Without any further ado, though, I need to actually hop into the demo. So I'm slurring my, I'm starting to slur my words now. I'm so excited to play this uh, demo. Uh, we can actually play the Tale for Two in the demo, which is really, really cool. Uh, not many demos allow the two players. I think Yoshi's Crafted World also does that, but I didn't really uh, point that out, I think, in that demo. Um, but we can play the co-op story, if I so desired, if I had friends. Uh, or I can play the Tale for One, which I am going to have to do. And we can also select Y and go to the eShop to pre-purchase the game or buy it in general, if you're playing the demo after the release of the full game. Anyway, I'm just gonna select the tail for one and we're gonna hop into this demo. I'm super, super excited. It's so weird because, oh, QB waking up like the other box boy games. I was gonna say, it's so weird because this is, well, for me, I'm recording it in 720p, but you can be playing this in 1080p, 4K. You can be playing a box boy game on a screen that isn't 400 by 240. Like, that is so insane to me that we're finally, like, I'm finally able to play a Box Boy game in HD, crisp HD, on my television thanks to the Nintendo Switch. I am still in awe. I've been in awe since they announced that this game was coming. I, I'm just so excited. Anyway, we got medals for clearing the stage because we got the crown, which you're used to if you played the 3DS games. But we also got target medals, which is a new thing in Box Boy and Box Girl, because uh, I should read this off. The medals you get for clearing stages and the target medals you get for achieving targets can be traded for... Oh, that's... Oh, the shop is only in the full game. Uh, but the target medals... I'll actually explain it when we get to the world map here. And by the way, I hope this is the actual first world, because it's called the beginning. It would be weird if it wasn't. So the new thing in this game is targets and we get uh, medals for clearing targets. So if you played the 3DS ones clearing with all crowns, you would get medals for that anyway. But the new thing is tar targets for boxes, for clearing with boxes. So uh, you can get three different tiers of medals for clearing with different box targets. For example, I cleared the first stage with only two boxes, which means I got all three tiers of those box target medals, and that totals uh, six target medals and clearing with all crowns gives you four so you get 10 in total per stage if you clear everything that's a really really nice detail with that being said i can actually get more into the gameplay i was pausing there to show off the target stuff i just want to play this game so bad i'm recording this when the full game is not out yet which you probably could tell anyway because of the way i started this thing uh so we're just gonna go through the demo here hopefully i can get everything completely. So we have, like this is so weird, seeing QB artwork in the top corner with the box limit there instead of like on a bottom screen. Uh, and then the controls you can see in the top left corner as well, seeing what to erase with, what to create with, what to jump with. It's so surreal to be playing this, to be playing Box Boy on my Nintendo Switch. It is super, super enthralling to me. We used three boxes there maximum, so of course we're gonna get the target bonus for clearing with the lowest amount possible. I do wonder what the actual limit was. It was four, so we got one less. Huh, not bad. All right, let's hop into stage number three. I'm almost halfway done with this demo and I want to slow down, but I also don't want to, I mean, I could sit here for like, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes just listening to the music. Uh, anyway, we got the checkpoint system now, so I'll actually show this off here real quick. Pressing L and R will allow you to go back to a checkpoint. I don't think, I think it's only checkpoints though. I don't think it's the beginning of the stage. Maybe there's an option for it if I press 
Okay, if I press plus, it'll show. Um, we can go to the title screen. Controls is there as well. Uh, oh, it even shows how many boxes you've already used and if you collected the crowns. And you can actually turn those guide messages on and off. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Uh, I don't need them on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a pro. I'm a, I'm a pro box boy player, you know. I don't, I don't need no guides anymore. I'm, I'm good at this game, I'd like to think. Even though this is only the demo, and I don't speedrun, so I can't really say I, like, I'm so good at the first box boy games. I'm just gonna be a natural at this one. There we go. We cleared the stage with six boxes, got all ten of those target medals. Super, super exciting. Let's move on to stage four. See, this is the halfway point, man. Oh God, I just wanna enjoy this game. I just wanna sit and watch. Actually, you know what? I will show this. I wanna see what QB's idle animations are. I wanna see if they're similar to the 3DS version. Come on, QB. No, not the sleeping one. Are you gonna do the sleeping one? You gonna go to sleep? Yeah, he's gonna go to sleep. How about dancing? Do you dance like in the 3DS ones? Come on, QB. Do you dance? Or bob up and down? Kiwi? Really? You're just sitting down again? Also, I turned the guides off. Why are the guides still on? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Kiwi. Anything else? No? Are you really just gonna plop down each time? You're not even moving now. <laughs> You're just blinking. Do you not have any other idle animations? That seems weird. Okay, uh, maybe in the full game there are more idle animations? I don't... I don't really know. Uh, I don't need to use three boxes for this one. I can just use two, because I'm a professional. And for this, I don't need to use that either. I can only use two there, and I can save and make sure that I don't hit that box limit target, so I can get all three of those box dues target tiers. There we go, the clear bonus, which is a little disappointing in this game, but you pretty much get all of your medals from the target bonus this time around. So it's not all QB jumping to the next stage is so cute. Oh, I love this series so much. Oh God, you don't know how, I mean, you probably do know if you watched um, my uh, Bye Bye Box Boy Let's Play, but when that was technically the final game in the series, I was so upset. I really, I had really, really wished for another game in this series. And when this was announced, when this was officially confirmed, because there were some rumors uh, beforehand, I was just so ecstatic. I, I'm just so in love with the series. It literally became one of my favorite video game series of all time. And only a couple of video game series since, you know, I was a kid when playing video games then, playing like Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, only a couple series have been like that for me. Box Boy and Splatoon. And kind of Pikmin, I don't want to say fully Pikmin, kind of, maybe like <laughs> two and a half, but like, it's, it's rare that I'm so into a new series, a new IP when it's revealed. Uh, ooh, this is different. I've seen this in the trailer. Oh, it's actually giving me the hint thing. Uh, try press and holding the uh, joystick and it lets you spend them. Oh, so you can do the hints and because there's no uh, coins in this game from Street Pass because the Switch doesn't have like Miiverse or Street Pass or whatever, then you use a hint medal by pressing down your joystick. Uh, I think I can't touch those, so I think I'm forced to... Actually, could I be a baller and jump over this? No, I cannot. Uh, I was hoping I could be like super stuntman and I could just jump over that without having to use three boxes, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, so those sparky things are blocked by your boxes, so that's good to know. And it's basically forcing you to actually use as many boxes as possible there. That kind of sucks. Uh, what doesn't suck is I can actually... Oh, did I use too many boxes there? I probably could have only used two, but it's whatever. We can skip using boxes to block the electricity and just use boxes to grab our crown. And of course, hopefully... Well, we did. You saw that we got all three of those target metal listings. Actually, I should have been checking each of the maximum ones after each stage. 
That one was 12, so we literally used one box less than the minimum to get all three of those target medals. Dang. All right, let's move on to stage seven. Man, we're so we're almost done. I really don't want this to end. Usually I'm not like that with demos. Ooh, oh my god, we're playing Dig Dug? Hell yeah, all right, let's go. Uh, okay, I think we get to Snake now. Yes, we get to Snake here. I love using the snake feature. Snake feet, the snake feature is so cool. Uh, dig our way through here. Actually, this might be the stage that we get that maximum uh, completely down. <laughs> All right, actually, I don't even, actually, I might need to. Oh, no, I don't. There we go, just drop down there. No boxes used there. That should probably help me. At least I would hope. Uh, oh God. Well, this was a mistake. Let's use two there. Let's not use as many as possible. And then use that there. Is that gonna, nope, that won't move that way, okay. Uh, this actually works, I think, right? Cause I can do this and then I can do that. Yeah, that should leave my box count fairly low. I hope it doesn't count them. 33, never mind, but I still got all of the medals. Wow, they are very lenient with that. What is the actual minimum? I want to say like 36 for that one. It is 36. Wow, 50. They're really lenient. 54 maximum boxes. Holy moly. Okay. With that, we now only have one more stage of the demo and of this beginning world. Let's hop in and let's hope we can finish this demo 100% cleared without having... Actually, I don't think we can even replay this. I don't think it saves your data. <laughs> so, uh, we, we might be screwed. Uh, ooh. Force field stuff? Oh, we're playing with magic here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, we need more than I think we need three for this one. Yeah, because we need the we need the button to be pressed But we also need to be able to jump to this and then jump up here. So oh Oh, this is awkward uh, I th Would this be accurate? Yes, so I can get the crown of course All right, um Hmm well, that's not gonna work. Uh, well, that doesn't work either. All right, let me let me press that just so I can keep my box count fairly low. Oh, I needed to use all four. No? What? Uh, maybe I need to be facing this way for it to work? Maybe? Wow, you actually need to be facing the way you want the boxes to move in order for that Jedi trick thing to work. That seems a little weird. Anyway, 12 boxes used, and that is all of the targets cleared. We actually 100% completed this demo. That's awesome. All right, and it looks like that's it for the demo because they had that cutscene there and then they're showing like other gameplay stuff here. So uh, yeah, that is the demo for Box Boy and Box Girl, of course, on the Biometer from never to totally. I'm totally, but in fact, I already did buy the game. So, I mean, I pre-purchase almost every game I'm interested in when it comes out. Also, Cutie has a dad look in that screenshot. <laughs> 
so yes, I'm gonna give it a totally gonna buy on the biometer. Ooh, a battle mode? That looks exciting. And there's also even more Q babies in this game. That means this is gonna be the best game ever. Uh, so until next time when I play another demo for another game, catch a waiter.